I'm Karen Wood. I've always been interested in art. I had an aunt that was an artist, and my, the most, the best memories from my childhood were time I spent with her in the studio. I have a, a portrait that I've done of her daughter. This way I can play around with it, and it's so easy to erase. I've had to really stop and go back and teach myself some things and some techniques. Artist Karen Wood works in a very old medium. A batik is like a 3,000 year old art. And again, my aunt taught me this and I read a little bit about it as well. The word batik means to resist. When wax, when you put wax on fabric, it's gonna resist any other color, okay? And this process is a process of dyes from your lightest color to your darkest color. Creating a batik is a long process. Between the process, you have to wait for the dyes to dry on the fabric, then you have to wait for the uh, wax to set up once you finish waxing an area before you go on to the next color. You never know exactly how it's gonna turn out because of where the cracks might end up. And then when you take it out and you have these dark lines, I've had a, a line through a face that kind of bothered me, but then again, it's like, well, it just looks more antique-ish to me. <laughs> Wood received the inspiration for one of her favorite pieces from her aunt. My aunt was a world traveler, this artist, and I remember she had a pair of sandals and they had a beautiful caladium leaf on it. They have a caladium festival in Florida and it makes me think of those shoes and I thought, I'm going to do a batik. And it's very small. It is hanging down there at the administration building now. Recently, Wood was asked to take on a new challenge, illustrating a children's book. I had an author contact me. She was looking for an illustrator. I submitted some illustrations. She wanted a girl in a swing with the, the dress blowing out. I mean, she was very specific about what she wanted. I did that. I gave those to her. And at the end of the process, she told me, she, she called me on the phone and she said, your work is the very, very best. So Wood started sketching. We may use this in the book. Sketching. This will come together so much more after the color is added. And sketching. <laughs> and if batiking and illustrating wasn't enough, Wood is now starting to have her artwork put on clothing. I had an online company contact me. They saw my batiks and they wanted to know if I would like to put some of my artwork on actual clothing, purses. I mean, they have come up with so many things now, pillows, throws, scarves, wall hangings, like tapestries. It's pretty amazing what they're doing. This was made from a batik that is a caladium leaf. And I was able to position it in different ways on each individual item that I might design. So this is part of the caladium leaf. It's not all of it, and it's an extreme close up we can really see a lot of different color that they get into it. If you would like to see more of Karen's artwork, stop by the Charlotte County Administration Building at 18500 Murdoch Circle in Port Charlotte on the first floor. For CCTV Artist of the Month, I'm Tom Lloyd.